morning guys. So today is the day I do the Marini loop. So you have to buy a permit. This whole $6.50. And this is supposed to be pretty corrugated and rough. So, and it's on Aboriginal land. So you do need a permit for it. You can't just go and drive it. You can get the permit from the Kings Canyon Resort. So, um, yeah, this is going to take you around to the McDonald Ranges or the West McDonald National Park as well, over that way, and then into Alice. So, um, yeah, it looks like there's a few people heading down this way, so it should be all right. Um, been told that I have to drop my tyre pressures is pretty corrugated, so um, we'll see what, what it's like when we get there. I'll decide on my tyre pressures and we'll go through that. So let's get going and uh, see where today takes us. On the Marini Loop now, and I've just come up the range, and there was a dingo standing on the road, but I wasn't filming it, which is kind of annoying. Didn't even think about putting the camera on. Um, but yeah, got up to this lookout here, and you can hear him howling in the background there. So you might get that on film from what I just uh, showed you all of the uh, area. But yeah, I'm gonna keep on going and uh, see what else I can find out here. Just dropped the tyre pressures now to 30 psi because the corrugations are pretty bad. I'll show you those in a sec. And um, yeah, we'll be on our way. So as you can see, these are the corrugations in the road here, which are not, not great. I just went through a big one and the car went everywhere. It started going all squirrely. So I'm like, no, I've got to change that out. I'm going to put it in four high for this as well. And, and we'll keep going. Cruiser's here, looking pretty good. Um, yeah, so we'll see where it takes us. There's a bunch of campsites out here as well. Um, so we'll see where we go. If I end up on an uh, overnight camp out here somewhere, or if I just uh, keep pushing on for the night. So there you go, guys. All right, let's get moving. All right, so I'm cruising down the Marini Loop at the moment, and uh, cruise is going pretty well. I just thought I'd stop, dump some footage onto the laptop and check out some of the scenery while we're doing that. This is 10 minutes to copy it over, 60 gig. So yeah, this is the uh, Marini Loop, this is the road. And there's a rocky mountainous outcrop that goes the whole way down. As you see, it's just red dirt. So, cruiser is going sweet. No issues. Um, yeah, not really much to report. It's going fine. Pick myself up a new sticker. So I'm gonna start putting stickers up now for all the places I end up going to. So there is Kings Canyon, because I've done that one. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stick the windows as I see places. I didn't pick one up from Uluru though, which I'm a bit disappointed about. But I'll see what I can get elsewhere for that. Um, other than that, yeah, scenery is beautiful on this side too. So it's just a big open grassland surrounded by some ranges. 
So it's really nice. If you get a chance to come out here to the Marini Loop, I was just coming and checking it out because it's well worth it, just for the scenery. Time to go and check out uh, this lookout. See what it's all about, eh? Um, so just having a quick read before I went back and got the camera. So this is a sacred Aboriginal site used for ceremonial gatherings and um, welcome to outsiders back in the olden times when uh, also a place to gather and get food from as well. So. I'll uh, show you in here. So. Uh, a very sacred place. They pronounce it wrong properly too. It's Noulu, it's pronounced. So, this goes down here. Just shows some of the uh, area. This is the map. Unlike here, information. So there's a lookout up here. And there's another one over this way. So let's go check them out. And uh, have a bit of a walking break after driving for so long this morning. And uh, we'll see, see where it all goes. I haven't done enough walking, but you know what? If I can do six Ks, I'm sure I can handle 300 meters. It's been a good trip so far. So we'll be doing a bush camp tonight as well. But yeah, we'll see where we go. All right, so this is a crater, a comet. Okay, a comet hit here. Comet blasts into flat layers of rock, sending out powerful shock waves. Fragments of the rock were held into the air and fell to form a crater around the impact core. About 20 million years ago, the outer crater rim had been destroyed by erosion. Today, only the near vertical rock layers at the centre of the base blast remain. Oh wow, so it's bigger than what it was. That's cool. So all around us here is an impact site from a comet. This is only by the center of the blast site. That's pretty cool. So Nerulu has endured millions of years of erosion. Once a colossal crater hundreds of meters above the plains, almost all the original outer structure has eroded. Oh wow. The inner core is five k's in diameter. This floor is littered with shattered cones which can be observed in the area. 
it was studied ge geolo yeah. it was studied geologically in the 1950s with debate over its origin. Fire resolved in the late 1960s. It is the most studied impact structure in Australia and has been mapped in considerable detail. So they show here, this is a Google Maps. Um, Google Maps or satellite image. So, oh, keep walking. This, this is interesting. Glad I came out here. It's pretty wild. Flies. Probably going to cop it down the Uden data track with the flies. But I do have a fly net. So that's alright. So, what do you guys think of this area? Not bad? Oh, look at that. You know, this is just. Just the wall of the impact crater. They used to be hundreds of meters tall. Not so much now. That's only the direct blast zone. I'm gonna have to jump on uh, Google and have a look at this site on the satellite imagery, I reckon. Definitely, definitely something different, that's for sure. Do this hike up, I guess. Can't be as, as bad as yesterday, right? That should be a good view. to think that this was formed millions of years ago by a meteorite. It's pretty freaking cold. And it's not all of it either. So. All right, time to go back down, grab a drink and then uh, head on out of here. So I was up there to get that whole view. That's pretty sweet. All right. Make my way back. There's my last lot of hiking I'm doing for this trip. Unless I get to check out one at another campsite, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Back to the car, take those rough corrugations out and and uh, then onwards we go to my campsite for the night and I'll show you that one when I get there.
All right, off we go. So I'm heading through to McDonald's Ranges right now, and it's a really nice drive. I'm um, back on the blacktop, so no more unsealed roads for a little bit, and until I get back into SA, I don't think. So if that changes, I'll let you know, but yeah, I'll see you at tonight's campsite.